Hey everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm just going to be doing a Christmas um, tag haul. Um, uh, me filming this video is exactly a week to Christmas Day. So let's get into this. I got chaps. I have a very disappointing story on these. Um, I got these when I ordered my new paddock boots. My paddock, I ordered, these are from separate companies. I ordered the chaps when well, I didn't actually order them online, I just bought them up in an acupuncture store. I will not name the other com company that I, well, I ordered the boots off. Um, pretty much they didn't have the stock. Like, they said that they had the, these lace up padded boots in their shop. Let's just say they didn't actually have it. They, um, they had it on their website and they haven't actually had them type boots in five years, which is really annoying. For anybody wondering, it was not Accupet I ordered these off, I will not name the company because I do not want to be accused of uh, bashing somebody's brand. So um, I'm really disappointed because I have severe flat feet and it means that I can only wear lace with paddock boots or only certain long boots is a nightmare when you're equestrian and have severe flat feet. So it was really disappointing. I'm hoping to see can I get them off a different website. But it's really difficult because I can't order from the UK or anything. Because UK you have custom charges and stuff like that. So I'll have to go with an Irish company and hopefully I could find them. I think TRI sells them. But I'm not completely sure. Um, so I'll stop rambling and let's get on with the next item. Um, I got a, a lead rope because Lexi's going through an awful phrase of breaking lead ropes and I decided to get another one. Uh, the next thing is, is tackling. In the winter I'm very bad with tackling but I think I need to start actually getting better at it because I have a very old tack and it's starting to go a bit mouldy. So I got the Cantor Day and Martin tack cleaner, the set one. Because um, um, because for the reason being um, this is a, I've heard great things about this tack cleaner and I wanted to give it a try. I actually rarely use it. I also bought a sponge that I won't be including in this haul, haul because it's I already used. I already use these, but I really love, like them, and I'd say. This is the best tack cleaner I've probably ever used in the sense that it actually gets the dirt off because I have really old tack and it can be very hard to clean because I got it from our previous owner like a lot of my tack is my sad saddle and bridle are probably like 10 years old. I did have to replace a few things on them like you know reins and stuff but like the actual bridle is still intact after 10 years. I could do an update on my tack but Definitely not happening anytime soon. Um, I got a tack conditioner, which is also really good for old tack. It's um, it's step two. These go together. This is step one, and this is step two, and it's a tack cleaner or a tack conditioner, and um, the tack cleaner is almost like saddle soap, a liquid version of saddle soap. And the tack conditioner really is a really moisturizer and it's, it's really good for older tack, personally speaking. But it's also good for new tack. It's there's a they're generally a good uh, tack cleaner and a tack conditioner. And no, I'm not sponsored by these. I just generally love them because they're the only thing that will work with my old tack. Because I you, I've cleaned my bridle and saddle and uh, my gear already with these, and. I never cleaned them so easy. The next thing you got is a stone oven for Lexi. Um, I give, I just kind of have like a tradition that I always give her a Christmas present every year. I got her a stone muffin. Before people say, think that I gave her loads of treats, I really don't. This is going to be used over the year. She doesn't get these often anyway, the stone muffins. For the reason being is because they're full of sugar. I like giving healthier treats, but I do like giving these when she's been really good. Like, like she's not keen on clipping. 
so she's not she's a bit of a nervous nanny when it comes to collecting so when she be really good I, I reward her with these type of stuff or dentist or stuff like that you know um, so she really loves these so these sun muffins she's absolutely obsessed with sun, sun muffins but I don't like to give her too often because of the sugar in them and for anybody wondering any treats I buy because like, I know I got, I, there's lots of treats in my tack calls I use them over a year most of them I use um, I'm still actually using to this day um, I don't give much of them but when I do um, I mean, give a small bit, so like I use them over a year. Like the big stone muffin bag I got last Christmas for, I am um, I'm still using them. Like there's still like four stone muffins left in it. So um, same with um, the treats that I bought last summer for, I still use, I still use them. Uh, to be honest, when I'm giving a treat, I kind of prefer to give an apple or a carrot because I think they're a lot healthier than the processed ones but I still do give them like her these treats when she is really been really good um she's absolutely obsessed with these and um, so happy Christmas everyone thanks for watching my video